Oh, well, it's been a crazy week, to say the least, about Gino Gradkowski. Gino, you're playing for the Falcons now. Welcome. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. So tell me, what's your week been like? <laughs> it's been pretty crazy. Um, you know, I was, I, was, uh, I was cut on Sunday and then claimed on Monday. And on the first flight out of Denver on Tuesday morning, and all day yesterday was here, um, you know, just trying to learn the offense and, and kind of getting to know everybody, getting to know the trainers, the strength staff, the coaches. And it was a long day, but, uh, you know, it was a lot of good stuff, and it was very exciting. I, I mean, wow, overwhelming to say the least because you're dealing with so many emotions. You said Sunday you were cut, Monday you're now on the Falcons. Tell me about just how are you feeling? Like, how are you feeling at that moment? I mean, you went from probably uh, to, oh, my God, I have to move, and my life's being turned upside down for a few days. Right, right before well, kickoff. That, that was kind of my feeling on Sunday was, you know, a little bit of stress thinking about moving and stuff. And then on Monday when I got the call and found out that I was coming to Atlanta, it was just all excitement and all positive thinking. Um, you know, I was very excited about it, and I'm still very excited to get started, to get to know my teammates, and just to um, learn as much as possible so I can contribute as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. now, let's talk about, you only have a few days, and then we have, you know, the big kickoff to football. How is the transition going into that locker room? I mean, this is now your new family. Like, are they welcoming? Right. Are they, you know, hey, buddy, how are you? Or do you have to, like, own your spot in that room? Well, they've been welcoming so far. I'm lucky I uh, have a college buddy on the team, Paul Warlow, who um, who I played with at Delaware, and we're good friends. We still are, and it always helps to have somebody like that. But, you know, everybody's very welcoming, because guys come and go all the time. Uh, and at the same time, I still do need to come in and work as hard as possible so that I earn their respect. And, um, you know, they, that, that'll that help a lot with the transition. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all watch those the movies that are out there, and we watch ballers, and we see how, like, you know, the new guy comes, and there's a little bit of hazing that's happening there. Is that is that what happens? Is it like a frat party there? <laughs> I think that's a little fabricated. I'm not really <laughs> sure. I haven't. You know, You're still new, right? You don't know. Yeah, every locker room is different, but um, I haven't experienced anything like that. You know, I've been a part of some great organizations in Baltimore, mm -hmm. Denver, and now here in Atlanta where, you know, guys are just worried about winning, so they're not really worried about that stuff. Okay, well, you take me back to your most memorable thing that happened in your career. Like, let's, let's go back to, I'm going to assume, the Super Bowl. Right. <laughs> you did the video, remember? You uploaded right, it on YouTube. Yeah. It felt like we were um, right there at the parade. Take us back to that moment. <laughs> the parade was awesome. Uh, the whole Super Bowl week was awesome. Um, you know, it was it was a, an experience of a lifetime, and you know, to share that with guys like Matt Burke, with Marshall Yonda, guys that you know who who kind of took me under their wing and mentored me my rookie year. Uh, it was special to see them. You know, Matt, who's played in the league sixteen years, to finally get a Super Bowl. Uh, you, you see how difficult it is to win in this league, um, especially that late in the season. It's it's very difficult to win a Super Bowl, but you know I, I really look forward to going back, and you know hopefully we can get that done here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Now, football is not only in your blood, but it's in your family, right? Like there's you, right. there's yourself that's playing in your brother. How's your brother uh, Bruce doing? He's he's doing okay. He uh, he was actually just put on IR. For the year he, he had a finger and a mm -hmm. shoulder issue that he needs to get taken care of but you know this is year 10 for him and he's been through just about everything that you could go through in, a, in an NFL career uh, so a, a great resource for me to have especially with this move and, and with all the things that I have to deal with um, you know Bruce is, is a great um, you know great role model for me a great guy that I can call and talk to no matter what and um, you know, he's been a tremendous help in my career. Family dinners must be fun. <laughs> <laughs> they are for sure. If you could only, you could only imagine the family dinners we have. I have a big family back home in Pittsburgh and, uh, 
you know, family dinners are, are really crazy. Not just my brother. We got two sisters, a lot of cousins, aunts and uncles, everybody. Now everybody's starting to have kids. So, uh, you know, it's about 50 people in one house just, just trying to trying to eat and trying to talk over each other. <laughs> mm, it sounds like fun. Now, pigskin lipstick, you took some time out, and you, you helped me with the whole football 101 when it comes to females learning and embracing the game of football. Tell me, what is your advice for, for women that are just getting into this so that they can better understand the game? Like, Talk to us exactly what you're doing on that field. Well, I think I think first first thing when you're watching a game is just to enjoy it to to watch you know the little things that may seem easy that aren't you know just a throw and a catch or a running back uh, you know breaking a run for ten or twelve yards may not seem like a lot but it's very difficult to do so you know little things like that get us very excited and and you know if you're watching football. Watch for those little things that that may seem easy, but they're not. Mm-hmm. Okay, so lots happening. Um, big weekend for you. You're you're just landed. You're basically landed and, and thrown on in New Jersey. Life's great in your world. I think it sounds really good. Yeah. Um, well, we wish you the best of luck for the upcoming season and congratulations. You're now a Falcon. That's amazing. You know, humble, hardworking, intelligent. Focused and determined both on and off the field. Gino, that totally represents you. And thank you very much for taking the time to speak with Pigskin Lipstick on TSN 1150. Thank you so much. Thanks. Good luck. All right.